piece of cardboard, okay, instead of like putting it straight on the table, is because I want to actually draw a scale on the, on the piece of paper for reference. Now you'll see in a minute why we need that, because we need to map this quantum system with the quantum system in the 3D CAD. So, okay. so, now so you, I, you could use grid paper if you have that. So you've seen the different grid papers for making patterns or gridded uh, paper for drawing graphs. Graph paper is probably the, the density of the grids too, too tight, but something like, are you familiar with pattern making paper for fashion? It's got about a couple of centimeters grid, that's how it's put. Okay, so space, all right. Now I'm gonna locate this, I'm gonna put this digitizer on, okay, just at this corner here. Now the uh, strategy of putting this is so that you know your stylus, your your pen here, can reach basically all the surfaces. Okay, so you can just give it a try. You know, on the opposite side, you can reach it without you know touching this this arm on the product. Then you know it's fine. Okay, so I so this uh, pretty good reach. So that's fine. Now I'm gonna put it here and I'm not gonna move it anymore. Now this this thing is like is heavy at the base, so it doesn't move easily. So that's fine. We don't need to take this down onto the table. Uh, okay, now connecting this thing. So what it needs is there are three connections. So there's the power. Okay, I'll just plug in the power here. It's in the back. I'm just going to come on. Okay, so once it's plugged in, you'll see the red light kind of like flashing. Second thing is your USB cable. Okay, so that USB cable is plugged into our computer. Um, so USB. Okay, now the final thing is this. Um, the, the pedal, okay? So the pedal is for actually sampling when we need to sample whichever point we, when we stop the pen there, we press on the pedal. I'm going to show you that. You don't want from this side or that side? Actually, I'm working on that side. But, uh, you want right underneath? Underneath? No, I think it's fine.
so that's the, the picture of this. So what I've done is I've done this. So basically, like I put a grid there, and this is the origin, and this is I measured this 10 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters um, long for for the x and y axes. Okay, so I'm going to put that now the digitizer the arm onto the zero zero point. Okay. Now this is a foot pedal, so I'm going to just right now I'm just going to use my hand, but I'll put it on the floor later. So what I need to do now is just press on this. Okay, so now I've inputted the origin. Okay, I specified the origin, and now it's asking me to enter the x-axis of the digitizer. Okay, so I put it onto the 10 centimeter mark in the x direction. Okay, and then now it's recorded that x direction, and now I'm going to put it in the y direction. Okay, so that's the part of the digitizing, like the dig digitizer part for the for the specifying the axis. So now I'm going to do it for the Rhino. Okay, so now it knows what the physical world looks like. Now it needs to tell Rhino so where exactly does that map to in Rhino? Okay, so I'm going to just like manually input the points. Okay, so the x, y, z coordinate. Um, so the origin is at the zero, zero, zero point. So zero comma zero comma zero. Okay. And then the x-axis, because I've measured 10 centimeters here, I also want to have 10 units on Rhino. So I put 10, comma, 0, 0. Okay, so, so x, um, x, y, z, 10, 0, 0. And then y is uh, 0, 10, 0. Okay, so y is 10 units up. There, so now I've finished basically mapping the physical world to Rhino. So now, how can I check whether that mapping is correct or not? So now let's try to like you know draw a point. Now traditionally, when you draw a point, you click on the point um, tool, uh, this point function here, and then you draw the point using your mouse pointer. But now it, this is working correctly. See that? So now this is like moving with my, you know. So now I can actually. So how can I test whether the mapping is correct? So I put the arm onto the zero zero point. So now it's exactly at zero zero. Your point. I move it to the x is 10. So now it's like 10 units across. So I'll just zoom in a little bit. So now it's like 10 units across, right? So there's 10 to the square. Okay, and then y. Just move that. Oops. Okay, but not big. Okay, so and then on, on this graph here, you can see going 10 units up. Okay, so now I know I've mapped it correctly. Okay, and then in the, in the z direction, so if you're looking at it on the side, you can see that when I raise the point up, so that, that diagram there, you can see it's going up and down. Okay, so now you know that this is like working correctly. 